Now let's move down to the control group for changing the text controls. So again, these controls here are only going to be applicable when we're using the text controls or text controls with thumbnails, which, as you can see, we are currently using. So by default, High Slide gives you these round white buttons with black text, which is fine if you like them, but I don't like them. And so I'm going to enable this checkbox for text controls styling. And this allows us to make a number of stylistic changes to those buttons. So let's bring those back up and you can see that just by checking that box we've changed. They're no longer graphical buttons, they're now buttons that are being styled using HTML and CSS. So they're pure code, not images. So we've got a couple of sliders here. Uh, the first one is for rounding the corners. You can have hard corners or round corners, just like on many other elements of the slideshow. I'm going to go ahead and leave those at 4 pixels just to give them a little bit of roundness. You can also adjust the font size, which I like to do, um, especially when using the Helvetica font face. The buttons look a little small, and uh, they're a lot easier to read with a slightly larger font size. You can also increase the letter spacing if you want to add a little bit of width to the buttons, spreading out those words a bit, and just making them more prominent overall. You've got font control over the buttons, which works the same as it does elsewhere in the gallery. I'm going to try using impact for my buttons and see how that looks. This is the same font that I'm using for my site menu, so it kind of goes with the overall design. And then, of course, you can change the font weight, going with either normal or bold. I'm going to leave those at normal. We also have color controls for our buttons. So I can go ahead and change the button color. I think I'm going to go with, well, do I want to, let's try it in green first. I'm debating between using the green that we're using for the border and using the red in our header. But let's see how the green looks. Not bad. Let's see how the red looks. I think I'm going to keep them red for the time being, although I may change my mind later. Uh, we also have control for applying color to the text on the buttons in various states. So there's going to be the usual text, the text color on hover, and then the text color for disabled text. So I'm going to go with black for my hovers, and I'm going to use the cream color for the hover. And then for the disabled text, um, let's try using orange. And this is what color it's all going to be when uh, that button is inactive. So for example, when I'm at the first image in my slideshow, you can see I can't go previous, that button is inactive, so it's going to be orange. Now, if you're using a language other than English, or you just want to change the text on those buttons, you can do that. In fact, you don't even need to have styling turned on to change the text. You can change that anytime you want. So, for example, if I made this go back, you can see that my button now reads go back, uh, even when it's using the default high slide buttons. Um, and when I turn on my styled buttons, it still says go back. Um, one thing I like to do is, you know, when you switch over to the styled buttons, you use those graphical indicators. And so I'll usually use text to sort of replicate uh, what we've lost using graphics. So I can go ahead and do that. Or if I wanted to, you know, if I were from another country, I might translate these buttons into German or French or Korean, whatever language your visitors are going to be using. So you can see now that has been changed. Uh, we have this actual size button. And by default, it's labeled one to one. You can change the text like with anything else. Uh, what this does is that when an image is too large to fit in the browser window, 
high slide will scale it down to fit. Now that's not a problem we have uh, in this demonstration gallery, but if this image were too large and it were downsized, uh, visitors would be able to use this actual size button to look at the image at its full size, um, which is a pretty cool option to have, especially if you want to enable your viewers to, to really get into the details of your image. Um, if you don't want to use this button for whatever reason, like for this gallery, it's really just not necessary. These are not large images. Um, you can go ahead and disable that button by hitting that checkbox, and you can see that it disappears. Uh, you can also change the text or the behavior, or the appearance rather, of the close button. So by default it's set to text button, which puts a button down here. We can also get rid of the text button and instead have this X icon that floats on the corner of our image, which in some designs can look very nice. I don't quite like it in this design. So let's change it again. Uh, you can also set the close button to none so that there just isn't a close button. And to get out of the uh, slideshow, you simply click on the image or on the dimmer. So those are all of the options for styling your text controls. And uh, all the options available to you in the high slide slideshow mode.